We've seen some of the most dynamic and intense gameplay Clash Royale has ever seen here at CRL West. The competition has proven to be extremely fierce, and as we get closer to the playoffs, we thought it would be good to analyze and break down our top five favorite plays of week four. The first match that we're going to be looking at today is between Thunderstruck of NRG against Sergio Ramos of SK Gaming. Sergio Ramos is playing the infamous Goblin Giant Sparky deck that has been doing so well in CRL West. This match perfectly showcases exactly what makes this deck so deadly. Thunderstruck is playing a Pekka Bridge spam deck, and we can see he has two ways of resetting the Sparky, with not only Zap, but the E-Wiz as well. Thunderstruck is able to easily mitigate the destructive power of the Sparky by playing his E-Wiz right on top of the Sparky as it crosses the bridge. Sergio Ramos acknowledges this and changes his strategy. He knows that Thunderstruck has to drop the E-Wiz right on top of the Sparky, or else Sparky will outrange the E-Wiz. Knowing this, Sergio Ramos plays his Dark Prince in the back as the little Sparky that could approaches the bridge. He then supports the Sparky with a Mega Minion so that Thunderstruck's E-Wiz can't reset the Dark Prince's charge. Because of that play, Sergio Ramos begins to overwhelm Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck is able to cycle back to a second E-Wiz in an attempt to stop the Sparky from connecting to the tower, but it is destroyed in an instant by Sergio Ramos' push. The Sparky that could is able to live to the very end of the match, landing the decisive blast under Thunderstruck's tower. The next play we're going to be analyzing is between Surgical Goblin of Team Liquid versus Razor of Complexity. Both players are using Royal Giant decks with very significant variations. It seems at first that Surgical Goblin has the matchup, since he's packing Fireball in preparation for Razor's best answer to the Royal Giant, the Barbarians. We even see Surgical Goblin launching an Onslaught of BM after his first push, since he's got such a good matchup. The tables turn, however, when Razor is able to keep his e was alive behind his own Royal Giant using a Barbarian Barrel. The E-Wiz then targets Surgical Goblin's Princess Tower, redirecting the tower onto the Barbarian that saved its life, allowing the Royal Giant to get a few extra shots. In an already close game between two pros, that extra damage from the Royal Giant is able to help Razor clutch the victory, while at the same time showcasing excellent use of game mechanics. The next play is in this match between Dark Angel of Team Queso against the God RF of Immortals. This interaction happens so quickly that if you blink, you would miss it. This play showcases the power of Spellbait, when Dark Angel plays the Rascals, knowing that it will bait out a Barbarian Barrel. Dark Angel doesn't even wait for the God RF to play the Bar Barrel before preemptively pushing opposite lane with a minor Goblin Gang push. This does devastating damage and takes the tower in no time flat. In a game against two elite players, it's not enough to just make pro plays. It's important to capitalize on your opponent's misplays. In this instance, the God RF overcommits with a Mega Minion in the left lane, making it so he has to wait for more Elixir to play his Electro Wizard on defense. This next match is between Tommy of Tribe Gaming versus Soaking of SK Gaming. We've seen a wide variety of decks in CRL West so far, but in this match, Tommy makes the first appearance of the Princess. Let's go! In this match, we see Tommy constantly defending his Princess with perfect precision, allowing each Princess to get so much value. Soaking's only immediate answer to kill the Princess is Poison, and so Tommy is able to use his troops to redirect attacks, allowing the Princess to get more and more value out of every shot. Tommy is eventually able to take out Soaking with one final Princess shot after playing a perfect game. The last match we're going to be looking at is a 2v2 match between Complexity and Pain Gaming. In the first half of regular time, Pain Gaming has a huge lead in tower damage. In a single interaction, Complexity showed the amazing synergy between Lava Hound, Lumberjack, and Miner, and turned the game around. Right before the Lava Hound is about to die, Complexity sends in a Lumberjack. Lumberjack briefly tanks for the pups, and after dying, spills rage for the barely alive Lava Pups to soak up. Complexity then sends in a well-timed Miner to tank for the pups, dealing massive damage. As the match progresses, Pain Gaming gets super close to taking out Complexity's tower. Complexity repeats a similar interaction a second time, and is able to steal the victory from right underneath Pain Gaming's feet. So what did you think of the gameplay so far of CRL West? Is there a particular play that you also thought was mind-blowing? Hopefully you were able to learn something new from today's video, and you can join us on stream on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays as we get closer and closer to the playoffs of CRL West.